Hey love bugs, it's Rob from Back at You One More Again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm more blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings you have come to Or even if you have been here for a while and haven't decided yet, like and subscribe. What are you waiting for? Even hit that bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel comfortable enough while you're getting a chance to know me, drop a line or two so I get a chance to know you. Or even just tell me about the fact of, you know, how you like being a hey Oprah or what's the, you know, the downside of being a hey Oprah. Or just to get the positive feedback on the contents of my video. Or if you feel like you enjoy my video or can relate to it or resonate with it, whatever the case may be, give me a thumbs up, like it, even share. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and seeing what's up. And for my extended family, what's up with you, fam? Much love to you as always. Thank you so much for the kind words and, and just for stopping by and showing me support. It really means a lot to me. And I tell you, every video that I have, it really means a lot, a lot to me. It makes me humbly, humbly grateful. So I do appreciate that. So namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely able to come for you too. And today... I'm listening to 300 and, uh, I mean, 639 hertz of pure meditation tone music, attract love and abundance, harmonize, bloom relationships. And that's right, right, exactly. I didn't even notice that whole title until uh, I just uh, skipped it because I have them all out now in alphabetical order. So I go down and make sure I try not to go ahead and repeat the same meditation twice. But my video today is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka's Falling in Love. Hey Oka's Falling in Love. And I said, dang, this just so happened to be a meditation music for actually doing it. And it, I mean, it works it sometimes. I don't know, I ain't never used it before. This is, you know, I actually like it. I actually really do like it because you never know what you can attract it at these times. But, you know, I took myself off the market and it is because when going through this whole situation it has really humbled me and it had to make me just step back because the situation that i have really been put in and i allowed myself to get put in certain certain situations um it made me hard it made it hard for me to actually open up and want to fall in love again and it's just like if you have been through a narcissistic relationship or abusive relationship, it's kind of hard to get back on the dating game like that because it's like, number one, some people feel broken and damaged or they feel like they're damaged goods or whatever. It just depends on how deep, you know, that abuse went to. And sometimes it's hard for them to actually open up and want to date again because they never, you know, on the back of their mind, it's just like, you know, this this person might be the same, you know, put in the same situation as the last person put in. But it's just the fact is you never want, you know, opening up to another relationship. You never want to bring your past relationship into the next one because I've been messing that up all the time. So that's why I choose for myself to be celibate. <laughs> keep myself out of relationships it's just like it's good to have male friends or opposite friends whatever you know floats your boat but it's just with me I feel like and so I'm all the way here I don't feel like we need to date you know there's I've had many obligations to go ahead and do that and it's just like I'm like no you know and I was not honest with them you know um it's just I've been through a lot and it's a situation if they already know my situation it's just like I tell them you know I don't I have trust issues you know I really don't <laughs> you know I, I I just keep it you know keep it real with them you know look I've been gone I don't went through a lot so it's really hard for me to trust and open up to people like that especially to that situation if you had it with your family you want to do it all at one time so it's just like it's safe to say don't put yourself on that market if you know you're still, you know, you're still healing from your last previous relationship. Because it's just like, you know, I've seen so many people start dating again just so they can get their mind off of the last one. It's like Kay Michelle, you know, she had that song. You, uh, if you ever listen to Kay Michelle, she has this song that's called One to Get Over. You know, I love them all. She, she'll get, she'll get a new one just to get over the other one, which is never healthy. Because sometimes it's just like. 
you need that that healing time, that process time to be able to heal yourself, know what you're going to put up with, what you're not going to put up with, what you're going to accept, what you're not going to accept, what things are worth sacrificing for and what's worth fighting for. And when you know all those things and knowing you're comfortable in your heart and mind by being comfortable to put yourself out there on that dating oh. game to sit up here and um, do that, I'm going to pause the cause real quick. Sorry about that. My daughter was yelling, so I had to tell her to be quiet because I knew you are all through my video. But yes, if you feel like you are still going through the same issues or, you know, because it's just like when you start dating somebody, it is really not healthy. And I had to have friends tell me that or, you know, just go through the experience myself. You never want to go into a new relationship talking about your old one. You know, you can just tell them, you know, when you're feeling comfortable enough, hey, I went through this certain situation. You don't have to really get into details about it unless you know you're really comfortable with that per person that you've been with for a while. And, you know, I can open up to you. Because some people, when you tell them what you went through, they'll make, maybe try to pull the same little stupid stuff on you that the last person pulled on you. That's why it's just like, you know, when I dated somebody else or whatever and I had that situation come up, when they ask, oh my God, what happened to you? And I said, I don't want to get into that situation. I don't even want to talk about it, you know, because it's just I don't want to open up that gateway to feel like you want to try me too. So it was just like I had to step back and just say, you know what, you need to heal on yourself. Work on yourself first before you allow yourself to get in that dating game. Please work on yourself. Work on yourself because you never know. You can have the best relationship. And I've seen a lot of people mess up some good relationships because they spent their times, and I've done it myself, talking about the past. You know, nobody want to do that. They're trying to take you away from all that. <laughs> when they're trying to take you away from all that, leave that mess at home. Don't even discuss that. Just ask, them, no, I just want to do some stuff today. It's okay. You don't even have to get into it. Because when you start talking about your ex and that person, it's going to let them know, you know, is this what I have to deal with? You know, I don't want to sit up here and be talking about this certain person all the time. So, I have to learn that. You know, because I'll let you know, give yourself that time to heal. Go through that grief process of actually knowing the relationship is over. I've dealt with it. I'm good. I'm over this. Now give myself that time to heal. Allow myself to love myself. Let myself know that I, I respect myself and I demand respect for others. And if they don't respect me, go on about your business. So I'm not trying to hold you up today. I hope you were able to resonate with me on get something out of it. You know, if you're into a relationship, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. If you're still trying to find your place in life and healing from that, you will get through this. And everything, is when you lose it, it's not always a loss. So remember that. And I have to keep telling myself that. Just because somebody was taken out of your life, the reason why this person was taking your life, don't bring them back. <laughs> don't bring them back. There's a reason why they are the way they are. So leave them where they are. And you get on with your life and discover loving you all over again. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. I will keep you on my prayers. And I hope you do the definitely the same for me. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. If your frequency is low, or you see somebody else raise it to the camera. And I will talk to you later. <laughs> much love, peace. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe. Even if I'm online. Give me a thumbs up and even share with your friends. We appreciate it. Peace. <laughs> Be wild.